What I'm doing on um, this afternoon's Facebook Live, if you were with me this morning, I did a catalog walkthrough. If you missed that, you can find that right here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe business page on Facebook. Just go to vid videos or you can look at um, um, an earlier post from today. Um, this afternoon, I was going to tell you, reveal to you my catalog favorites. And my intention was to um, give you my number one favorite in different categories, but that is really, really hard. I haven't done this for a while, and I forgot how hard it is to choose one, just one thing of each category. So on some of these categories, I went up to three of my favorites. Um, just a quick reminder, Stampin' Up! has a um, joining promotion for the rest of May, and that is that you get an extra $30 of Stampin' Up! product when you join my team. So you get to choose $155 worth of product, and you still pay just $99 plus tax, and it ships free to you. Um, there's no obligation beyond that. I would love to have you stay around and enjoy the perks of being on my um, Mary Stampers team. We have a private face group, Facebook group where we share and um, just help each other out. Uh, we have creative challenges on there and you get your name entered into a drawing for a Stampin' Up! prize just for participating. And you also, as a perk for joining my team, get free tutorials to my classes to go. And I post those right to our um, private Facebook group for our team. The second promotion Stampin' Up! has out right now is the, and I believe I said the name incorrectly this morning, the, um, now I'm trying to remember, get, no, gather, craft, collect. I feel like the first part of that's wrong, but whatever. It's a host promotion. Um, if you place a an order by yourself that's $250 or more, you not only get the, that 10% Stampin' Rewards, so $25, you get an additional $25 of Stampin' Rewards. So $50 of free product for a $250 purchase. Or you gather some of your friends together, collect some orders, or do a virtual party with me, private class, something like that, and you will get all the Stampin' Rewards. If your sales, combined sales, reach $250 or more, you too get that additional um, $25 in Stampin' Rewards. So $50 product for a $250 workshop um, is quite good. So please let me know if you're interested in that. Um, virtual parties are so easy for you and tend to be very um, profitable in getting free product. So if you have a long wish list, you might want to consider that. And then, of course, also if you're spending $90 or more from your wish list, your best option is to purchase the starter kit. Um, if you decide being a demonstrator isn't for you after that first quarter, that's fine. Nothing happens. Um, you don't get in trouble. You don't have to return any of the products from your starter kit. But if you do wish to continue, um, I think you will enjoy being a part of my Mary Stampers team and enjoying the other perks. All right, so <clears throat> let me flip my camera around right now. Um, and I will... Uh, get started showing you my catalog favorites. You might have some of your own favorites to share by now as well. If you would be so kind as to share this Facebook Live while I'm changing my camera, I would appreciate it very much. Okay, and I've got my little list hung up in front of me. So, um, my favorite suite 
There are several sweets, and I have to say, I pretty much like all of them, most of them. The first is the Beauty of the Earth, which is pretty darn cool. Let me adjust my lighting a little bit here. There we go. And we also have Pansy Petals. I will be doing um, classes to go on both of these in the next couple of months. Another is In the Wild. We have Yora Peach, which I love for summertime. We have Bloom Where You're Planted. Tidings of Christmas. Expressions in Ink. Hand penned. And remember, I have that class to go. This is my first class to go with products from the new catalog. Um, I have information about that on my blog. I posted it to my blog, uh, I think it was early this morning. Plus, I sent out an email last night about it. The Sweet Symmetry, fun, um, just fun colors and patterns, and I like the small prints of the DSP in this. And this will be part of my um, Cards and Bingo Night on June 18th. So $35, you get the stamp set, you get an embellishment, and things to make cards. We play bingo, I give out prizes, fun, fun night. So mark your calendars for that. So my number one favorite suite is, can you guess? Let's see if it's yours. Expressions in ink. Now, many of the things I'm showing you as my favorites, I don't even own yet because um, we had a very limited number of items on the pre-order, but I'm happy to say I got up in the wee hours of the night, the morning, and um, placed my demonstrator order and it's already shipped. So I'm thrilled. I'll have it here in a few days. The other one is on page 80, the Bloom Where You're Planted Suite. I just love, to me it's pretty realistic, and um, I just love the versatility of it, and I think with plants, you could make cards for any occasion. I think it would also make some nice, um, scrapbook pages or maybe some home decor a collage or something like that and then finally some of you might guess this is the tidings of christmas so i definitely will be doing something with this for a christmas in july class so those are my three favorite sweets um next is bundles and it just gets harder and harder from here let me tell you so on page 19, I love the Sending Hugs bundle. I just think it's pretty unique. I love the idea of coloring this with our watercolor pencils. Um, and I love the idea of sending hugs and all the coordinating um, sentiments that you can send with it. I, I'm excited to use this. This is on my order that um, shipped early this morning, so I'm excited about that. Another one I believe you've seen me use already is Inspired Thoughts. I love the sentiments and I love the trees. It's very versatile. You can use it all year round. Um, Oh, Janelle, which is your favorite? Oh my gosh, my favorites too. Which one was that? The hugs? Or was that one of the sweets? I'm trying, I'm not keeping up with all of the comments. I'm sorry. Um, and then my third favorite bundle, and you have seen this before, but because of a back order situation where you really haven't worked with it too much. Oh, I thought I had page oh, 148. I was like, that's not it on page 48. Is the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. I still love that. I still want to do a class with it this summer. Um, we're just waiting for more of those punches to be available. 
Okay, favorite stamp sets. Page 36, and you've heard me say this probably a gazillion times. You might be tired of me saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. I love sentiments. I love the idea of mixing and matching the different words here, the different fonts, the different sizes of the fonts, um, making them any color to suit your needs or your card design. Um, just love it. Just love it. And the next one is along the same line, a little bit simpler though, it's called Biggest Wish. And again, I like the idea of mixing and matching and layering, that sort of thing. This tag right here, that just caught my eye. Um, I love the layering of the colors on that. And then page 90, Festive Foliage. I think I like this. It's a background stamp, but I intend to, when I get it, I intend to use this as the focal point of um, my cards and do some coloring, maybe some spotlighting, maybe adding some red and using a variety of greens. I think that will be really pretty. All right, um, punches. And this one, I did pick just one punch. Does anybody have a guess? It is a brand new one. It is a border punch. It's the evergreen border punch. I think this is going to be wonderful. Here's, I've got a pen here. Let me pull that out. Um, I think it's going to be wonderful because you can cut right from designer series paper. You can punch from cardstock. Um, you can do all kinds of fun things with this. And it does have a stamp set that it coordinates with. It comes as a bundle. But I think it is a great standalone punch to use on cards, but also maybe layering or bordering um, uh, scrapbook pages. It would also be neat in a frame if you have, um, and I, the first thought that came to mind was um, when we used to go to the Christmas tree farm and get trees and we take pictures of the girls and that sort of thing. Um, and just to have a picture like that in a frame with maybe some of those evergreens bordering on the bottom, just a simple little add on of paper crafting. All right, the embossing folder. This was hard. Most of mine I don't even have, but I picked the one that I do have, the bark. And I'll tell you why. I tend to go with just more plain background embossing folders. Like I love the magnolia. Um, I love the seashells. I just don't use those quite as much as I do the ones that are more background. And since they retired, my all-time favorite embossing folder, Subtles, Did I, do any of you have that? And I don't think I'm going to be able to give it up, but then again, I won't be using it in my business anymore since it's retired. That was my all-time favorite embossing folder. So Tasteful Textile is a close second. And then um, I really think I'm going to like this new Bark embossing folder. In fact, I've got it out to um, use in designing another class to go this afternoon. Okay, die sets. You've already heard me mention one. The one is, and this is on page, let me see here, 158, 158, and that's the Scallop Contours die. And this does coordinate with the color and contour stamp set, but I love it for the frames. I love the scallop edge that you can put on your cards and such. Um, and I just think it's really unique that all of these nesting frames all have a scallop, but the detail of the scallop frame is different on each one of them. So that's my favorite. And then my, I have another, I'll call it my second favorite die set, because when I saw this, I thought I can definitely picture me using this a whole, whole lot. 
and that is the tailored made tags, tailored made tags. So this die set cuts out, I thought I might have it right here, let me look. Yes, I do. So it cuts out two different shapes of tags. One is more um, square, I'll say, and the other has a rounded edge. And oops, I think I have these backwards. You can see I've used them already because I didn't have them back in place. Um, and then, so this is all straight edges and then this has a curve. But each one of these is in four sizes. So it really can accommodate so many of our sentiments. You might even put an image, a stamped image or shape on the tags. But I picture myself um, die cutting lots of these, maybe in um, the neutrals, um, white, vanilla, maybe crumb cake, some of the most popular colors I use. Um, and just having the tags on hand so that I can reach for them from a little basket or something and they're quickly available to stamp on. Um, where am I here? Okay, my number one DSP. This might be easy for you to figure out since I told you my favorite sweets because these DSPs in part are, um, or I should say the my favorite sweets are in part due to these DSPs. So on page 131, the expressions in ink. I just like the artsy, um, just the artsy bright colors. I like the gold accents in it. I think it's going to be really fun to work with. I can't wait to get that in my delivery this week. Um, and of course, I pretty much always like designer series papers. It's a weakness of mine, let's say. Um, and a lot of times when I start designing my cards and scrapbook pages and things, I start with designer series paper and I grab the color combination from those designer series papers as well. So that's one. The second one is the Tidings of Christmas. I like it just because it's very traditional. It uses Cherry Cobbler, which is my all-time favorite red. And also we have two, several colors in here, but two new in colors, Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. And I love both of those with the Cherry Cobbler. And then third would be your Peach. It's screaming summer, it's raining here in central Ohio, it's dark and gloomy, and I am so ready for summer, so maybe that's why it's at the top of my list. All right, number one embellishment. Let's see. Oh, I had two. I narrowed it down to two. Let's see, pages. Got to look at my last 142. Oops, wrong way. Right here. Page 142, you can't go wrong with any of our embellishments. Oh, Jill, the peach sweet is on your list. Yep, I love it. You make me laugh. You have plenty of punches, but you might just need that evergreen punch. I agree. All right, you cannot go wrong with our embellishments. I really love them. And who would have thought that something, you know, a simple $7 product of an embellishment can add such a huge difference, make such a big impact on our cards and paper crafts. But I narrowed it down to these two. Um, the 2020 to 2022 in color, what are they called? In color square gems. Um, the gems, the squares are faceted. I think, I just think it's neat to have a square embellishment, something different. Um, and then also, and you know, I didn't even think to put these on my list or uh, on my uh, order this morning, but that's okay. I'll get them in the future. And then the second one would be the 2021 to 2023 in color jewels. 
they're like rhinestones colored in each of the five new in colors. But really, I mean, I love the square, um, black and white, square and circle, black and white brads. I mean, this is great for the shaker shakes, shapes, great for the shaker cards we love to make. I'm glad they brought back the sequins for everything. Um, and since I'm on this page, I will just announce that the random winner chosen to receive a free, free embellishment of her choice from pages 142 or 143 is Janelle Ellison. And Janelle, Janelle, I know you're watching, so I hope you're pleasantly surprised. Um, just email me or message me your address as well as your um, choice of embellishment from one of these two pages. And for those that are on, I will be choosing another winner and stay tuned to the end of this video or this live because I'll give you the word to comment on to, for a chance to win. And you too will get to pick your, um, get your embellishment of choice. All right, ribbon or trim? Right off the bat, I'm gonna say all of the in color ribbons. I'm gonna set this aside here. Just because I love I love the feel, I love the look, I love the texture. Um, it's satiny, it's shimmery, it's only three eighths inch wide, it's very thin, so it's easy to work with, does not create a lot of bulk on your cards when you're mailing them. So my first choice of ribbons would be the 3 8 inch open weave ribbon in all five of those new in colors. And then after I put that down, I thought, you know, there is something else that I just love. I love that we now have a Baker's Twine Essential Pack. So it comes, you know, with five great colors, five great neutrals. And I know that I will use this a lot. Um, and I think it's a great value and I'm excited about it. All right, my favorite new in color. You know, we have five, polished pink, fresh freesia, pale papaya, soft succulent, and evening evergreen. Can you guess which is my favorite? Any guesses as to which is my favorite? I keep scooting my catalog out of the frame here. I guess my chair isn't lined up in front of it correctly. I'm scooting over. Any guesses as to which of these five new in colors is my favorite? My favorite, oh, Tammy Allen, you know me well. Soft Succulent is my favorite, and I'll tell you why. Number one, it come. oh, Evening Evergreen is a close second. But number one, it not only coordinates with all of these other in colors, but it really coordinates with the majority of all of our Stampin' Up! colors. Um, in some ways, I almost think of it as a neutral green, kind of sitting in the middle of the spectrum. And it works with bright colors. It works with more subtle or muted colors. Um, so that's definitely my favorite. Um, but I have enjoyed working with all of these. Okay. Oh, I forgot my other um, my other favorite ribbon. I'll go back to that. The Flirty Flamingo. And I wish I could show you this. Um, and I, I got the next card class to go that I'm working on designing this afternoon. Um, I will be using this. So I'm kind of chomping at the bit waiting to get my order in a couple of days to use that. But I think I'm going to love that. All right. Where am I here? We did favorite in color. We talked about my favorite designer series papers. How about my favorite specialty paper? My favorite specialty papers. Those are on 
page 135. Um, we've got a couple that are returning. This one is kind of overlooked. It's too, I wish they hadn't took such a small picture of it in that um, corner there. The gold and rose gold six by six metallic specialty paper, I think will be very popular. And then this one also kind of gets lost in the shuffle, the pearlescent. But anyways, and the, the metallics and copper and gold. But my favorite is this in color shimmer vellum. I'm gonna take some out of the package to show you. It's just so pretty. There's, I believe, 10 sheets, get two of each color. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see on the Facebook Live. So let me pull them out and then I will hold them up a bit. Oh, I think you are getting a, an idea of the shimmer there as I'm seeing it up on the screen. Oh, some of you guessed the shimmer vellum, Janelle. We must be kindred spirits or something. We like so many of the same things. Although I have to say there are very few Stampin' Up! products that I don't like. Um, but look at these. Are these not gorgeous? And I love the weight of them. Now you could use either side. This is the matte side, which we normally think of with vellum. But look at this shimmer side. Isn't that pretty? And then, of course, they look just as beautiful if you would use the matte side. Oh, Janelle, you want to make um, peonies with those? I bet those will be pretty. All right. Okay, this is going to fall down. Let's just scoot it over here. What else do I have left? Um, number one, packaging basic. It's on page 137. I do like the way they've displayed all the packaging items um, like this because it lets me compare sizes somewhat to this. I know like this is not full size. None of them are full size actually. But um, in terms of the boxes, you get kind of a good idea of the different sizes. But my favorite new packaging basic is, can you guess? Let's see if I can get it out here is the ombre gift bags. Um, they're not quite five by seven, close to five by seven, just a smidge smaller. But in all of the new in colors with that beautiful ombre look. Um, so I think these would be a lot of fun, maybe packaging gift cards, um, packaging little treats, um, a little jewelry box, something like that. I'm sure you can come up with lots of fun ways to use all of these. And I want to say there's one more category I chose. Okay, kids and babies. And I'm not at quite really at that stage of my life. Um, my babies are 29 and 24. Um, and I don't have grandchildren yet. I hope to someday. But I really um, was very interested, <clears throat> excuse me, by many of the kid and baby um, stamp sets and bundles. So let's go to page 55. I mentioned this this morning. Um, wildly adorable. It will make adorable baby cards, but I picture using this for um, Easter. I picture using all of them, all these babies in their costumes for Halloween. And I also thought, what a fun, um, maybe get well card for a child. Um, you know, a little, little one who is sick with chicken pox or maybe fell off the slide and hurt an arm, something like that. It would just be a fun thing to send that way. It would be fun to send to new parents. So that's my number one for kids and babies. Uh, my number two would be the Turtle Friends. And my number three would be, oops, maybe it's the other direction. No, it's not.
And I think they have list, listed with birthday. But I like this. And I can just picture this, the little, like here, you see the little animals standing up to the stone fence and put in a little greeting. I think children would really love that. Um, and really children of any age. My mom grew up in a very large farming family. I have lots of relatives that still farm. And I think that would be a fun card to send to my aunts and uncles as well. Oh, Tammy, what a great idea. Reading or chore reward cards for the littles. Oh, love that idea. Yes. Oh, you people are so creative. I, and this is what I love about Facebook Lives and Zooms, the sharing, um, because sharing is how we all learn more and how we all grow our creativity. So thank you for that. So there are some of my favorites. How about you? Do you have some favorites in the catalog? What I want you to do is I am going to choose another winner in a little while. I'll give people a chance to respond, so I'll wait an hour or two, and then I will choose another winner. So somebody in addition to Janelle will have their choice of um, embellishment from page 142 or 143. I should say, if I currently have the embellishment on hand, um, I will send it to you this week. If I don't, you will receive it. That means I have to order it and get it and such, and you will receive it by the end of the month, okay? Just to clarify that for the winners. So what I would like you to do to be entered into um, another drawing for your choice of embellishment is to type the word favorite and then beside it, tell me something in the catalog that you love. All right. So um, it could be favorite and you might put ombre gift bags, favorite inspired thoughts bundle. It can be any product, um, any new product in this catalog. So just type the word favorite and then one of your favorite new products beside that. And after you do that, I will um, look at all the people who have done that and chose a winner. Um, and I will announce that um, probably in the next couple hours. I have to get online for a Facebook Live with my team at 7, so I'll probably do it right before then. All right. Oh, I'm, oh I love seeing what... The favorites are okay hand penned paper the vellum nice I think I saw something else number six the in color square gems okay favorite all right I gotta write this down Janelle so I don't forget number six in color square gems and I will have to order those for you. So I expect them by the end of the month, Janelle. Okay. Any other favorites? I love seeing what is striking to people. Gout Pansy Patch for Sheeran Stackhouse. The Wild Tiger Bundle. Okay, Jill. And the funny thing is, that one just doesn't appeal to me. And I said to somebody, it's just, maybe I'm, I'm not a big animal lover like some people are. I enjoy going to the zoo and the aquarium and petting my sister's dog, things like that. But I'm not like a huge animal lover like some people are. But I had just told somebody that I think will be a popular suite. Um, and it's different than any animal bundles that I recall. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for spending more of your Tuesday with me. And I look forward to um, sharing more new products, um, classes to go, etc. in the coming weeks and months. Have a good evening and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.